Hello everyone, Fred here from AF Math and Engineering. We are back and we are solving a problem on uh, 2D equilibrium. Okay, so this is um, something that you probably should have done in high school. If not, that's okay because it's, uh, it's fairly straightforward and this is something as well that you're going to kind of uh, cover a little more in depth in the start of physics for pretty much all engineering courses, physics mechanics in university. So let's do a fairly simple question to get it started, just to maybe refresh your memory, or if you haven't done this yet, you're in high school, you can learn how to do it here, and we'll just talk a little bit about what we're doing, okay? So as you can see, we have a 2D equilibrium. If you go back to our Introduction to University Physics video, uh, in the, in, at the, it'll, we'll put a link below. So if you haven't read that, it's an outline of what we're gonna be going over. This is gonna be topic three, okay? So dealing with equilibrium equations, um, 2 and 3D. Okay, so I've, uh, I've gone ahead and I've drawn the problem that we're going to tackle over here on the left. So as you can see, I hope the drawing is clear enough, is we have uh, A, B, C, D kind of uh, force system, and these lines, these black lines here are cables, okay? So A, B, A, D, and A, C are cables, and A, B, the cable is attached to a wall, the D cable is also attached to a wall, and the AC cable has a 40 kilogram weight hanging off of it, okay? And this, this cable makes a 30 degree angle with the positive x-axis, all right? And uh, as you can see here, I just wanna point this out because this is, um, if you're going into civil engineering or even mechanical, that kind of stuff, you'll encounter this a lot as the way to draw kind of a support. And it doesn't really matter in this question per se, but if you draw a straight line with kind of um, some lines coming out the back there, that, that means that it's a fixed support there. So that's kind of what I've done here, just to illustrate that the, they're attached to a wall there. Okay, so how do we solve this problem and what, what are we asked to solve? So we're asked to solve to find tension in the cables, all right? So the first step to any question like this is to draw what we call a free body diagram. So I've drawn a plane over here and we're just going to label that FBD, okay, our FBD, our free body diagram. In most exams in physics, in, in basic physics in high school or, or university, they always want to see your free body diagram. This is worth marks, okay? So if you ever have a, you know, you have a system with a bunch of different pulleys or cables or anything like that, you always want to break it down into its individual forces on the plane, okay? That's what that means here. So that's what we're going to do. So let's go ahead and start that. So we'll start with AB, okay? We have a force and uh, the tension is always acting away, okay? Um, so the tension is going to be in this direction here, all right? So let's go ahead and draw that force here, okay? So we're starting our free body diagram. This is A, okay, and that is going to be B. And we are given this angle here uh, with the x-axis, and that is 30 degrees, all right? So that's good. Let's go ahead and draw AD. Well, that's pretty straightforward, right? It's just A, and once again, the tension is going outwards from A. Okay, so we have a force here, AD. Okay, very good. And finally, we have AC. Okay, now AC here, we, uh, we and you know what? Let's just write force B and force D as we go. So now we have force C, all right? And that's acting, once again, away from A, so downwards. However, we have a 40 kilogram force, okay? Uh, sorry, a 40 kilogram mass uh, acting downwards. And as we've discussed before in our, one of our, in the introduction video actually, is that the, a unit of force is kilogram meters per second squared, okay? It's not kilograms. So always, you know, don't just uh, use 40 kilograms as the force because that'll be wrong. So what we need to do to find the force that this 40 kilogram weight is exerting on this, on this cable here, okay, and on the system, we need to multiply 40 by 9.81. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, and we end up with, and we'll say that this is force D, sorry, C, is equal to 392.4, and the units are newtons. Okay, so how do we begin here? Well. Once we've done this step, okay, so we have step one. I'm just gonna write the steps out for you, okay? Step one is to look at the diagram and read what the question asks, okay? 
Okay, our second step, draw our free body diagram. And our third step, so what we're on now, okay, we are going to write out our equilibrium equations and solve for the individual forces, okay? And whatever the forces are in this free body diagram, those are gonna be equal to the tensions in the cables. Easy enough, right? So, write system equations. Perfect, so let's go ahead and do that. So, uh, I, I, you should have uh, done this in high school, like I said, but if not, uh, I'm not really gonna explain this too much. What we're gonna do is we're going to sum all the forces in the x direction, we're gonna sum all the forces in the y direction. And equilibrium here, this is very important, that word. That word means that when we sum all the forces in the x or the y, we, we can equate them to zero, okay? That's what that means, because the, the system is, is not in any sort of motion, okay? All the forces are canceling each other out, that's what we're assuming, and that the, the system is not moving at all, okay? So it's a, it's a statics type of uh, physics problem. So we're going to, this is how we write it, we write sigma, okay? Sigma forces in the x direction, okay? So sum of the forces in the x direction, where, and we're going to say that our positive direction is towards the right, okay? That's very important to do. Let's begin. Okay, so we have, uh, well, let's start with FD, okay? So FD is in the opposite direction uh, than we designated for positive, so we're going to give that a negative FD. Okay, we don't know what FD is, we're just gonna use FD for now as a variable. And what's the other force that we have in the X direction? Not FC, we have FB. And FB is uh, upwards 30 degrees from the X axis. So we are looking for just the X component of the FB force, right? So we're looking for this component of the force. Okay, so if we remember back from our uh, trig grade 11, grade 10 stuff, okay, this is the adjacent side to the angle, right? Okay, so in order to find this part of the triangle, we're gonna need cosine. So, and it's also in the positive direction, right? It's going this way. So we are going to use a plus sign, and we're going to say we have FB, cosine 30, and this is equal to, like I said, zero, all right? Next, let's do exactly the same thing that we did for the y direction. So we're gonna say the sum of the forces in the y direction, and uh, we'll say that up is positive, okay? Let's take a look, okay? Well, we have FC here, that's a negative, because it's going down, and we have our force, right? Everything we're doing is in Newtons right now. So it's 392.4, okay? And we have FB. Now we want to find, this time around, this component of the triangle, right? The, the component of the triangle that's in the Y axis. And, well, this is the opposite side. If we're looking at it from this angle here, that's opposite, right? And that means that we're going to need to use sine. It's also going upward, so it's gonna be positive. So we have FB sine. 30, okay? And once again, that's all equal to zero because the system is in equilibrium. And as you'll see now, okay, we have a system of two equations, okay? And we have two unknowns. Okay, so what does that mean? That means that what we can do is we can solve for one of the variables and substitute it into the other, and then we can go ahead and just solve that, okay? So let's go ahead and do that now. All right, so, well, which, what's the best way do you think to do this? Well, I think if we solve for this FB here and then plug it in here, we'll be able to find FD. So let's go ahead and do that. We have, let's move this over to the other side. F, and uh, I'll just number this one and two. Okay, so we're working with equation two right now. Okay, so we have FB is equal to, let's move that over, 392.4, okay, divided by, and we're just gonna divide both sides by sine 30. Okay, if we do that in our calculator, we should end up with FB is equal to 784.8 newtons, okay? Good, so we found FB, and now all we need to do is go up to our equation one, okay? And Let's write that here, and we need to just plug this in, and from that we should be able to get, okay, so we can say that 
784.8 cosine 30. Okay, so I'm working with equation one now and I'm just taking FD, I'm moving it to the other side and isolating it. Okay, is equal to FD. Okay, so that means that, well, FD is equal to 679.66. Okay, well, we'll say that it's, we can just say that it's 680. That's fine, but we'll leave it at that. Okay. For the purposes of this video, that's not super important. We're just, uh, we're working on exactly how to go through the problem, not the exact answer. So. That's, uh, that's, that's it, that's pretty simple, right? Nothing too complicated there. Um, you know, this is, this is kind of like a free mark question on your midterm. If it comes up, just make sure that you don't make any mistakes with the directions. You do this part very carefully. Generally, they won't be this easy. You might have five forces or there, there'll be pulleys and that kind of stuff, but we're gonna go over that in later videos. So if this is uh, helpful, like as always, like and subscribe the video. Thanks for watching.